Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. It is day 24 of Frizzmas. It is the last day. And I have done this every year now. This is the fourth year. And this has been amazing, but I almost cannot believe that I pulled this off. It is also mimosas and makeup. And I'm actually drinking a poppy soda because y'all would not believe what time it is i'm gonna tell you it's 12 21 a.m and y'all i've just been an emotional wreck i would say this week and i don't like to film when i'm not feeling it so i got my second win we are going to be talking about the top five makeup releases of 2023 this was a little tricky for me this year. We'll go into it in a minute. But if you want to just hang out for this last day of Christmas, talk about some makeup releases and chit chat it up, keep on watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. You know I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. <laughs> So how are you? It's actually today when I'm filming this, even though today just started, I got some shine right here. So I'm just going to touch it up with my little hourglass powder real fast. I love this stuff. Oh my gosh. I hope you're doing fantastic and keeping yourself together mentally during this holiday time. It could just be a mixed bag of emotions for many of us. So, I'm saying I hope you're taking care of yourself during this time, but I'm not really practicing what I preach. Next year, I'm gonna have a plan. Next holiday, I'm gonna have a plan. But this year, I'm just trying to get through it. It's not to say that I'm not doing well, but I'm just having a lot of thoughts and reflections. So I'm just keeping that in mind for the future. Now, another thing that I wanted to share is that this is a collab video and it's with my girl Ashley over at Dr. Ash and her makeup. I love her and I cannot wait until I see her again. But we are like, that's my girl. We've done this collab every year. I would say for the past two years, I think. And this is the first time I'm sitting down here to film it. This is the first time where I was saying to myself, am I talking about releases or am I talking about launches? I went back to last year's video and I talked about launches. When I think about a launch, I think about like the teasers, the prep, like when Pat McGrath does her launch for the mothership, how we're excited and it's a big deal when she did her blush launch. And I looked at what I talked about in last year's video. And I can't remember everything. I talked about Tammy Tanuka and how we would anticipate her launches. We would anticipate the shades that she would put in each of the palettes and then you would get the full reveal. I think last year was when I got the last palette that we were able to get. So I talked about that. I talked about Pat McGrath's blush duos. I also talked about the Odin's Eye Christmas palettes and I was saying next year, I hope that they just bring them back. They don't need to make anything new, just bring them back. They did bring them back and give us something new. I also realized that in previous years, I talked about all these releases, including the eyeshadow palettes, where, you know, eyeshadow is, is my thing. I'm not gonna talk about eyeshadow today. I wanna give eyeshadow its own video because there are some really good palettes that came out this year and I think eyeshadow just needs its own video. So I'm curious to see how Ashley did her videos. Her link is gonna be in the description box. I'm not really talking about launches. I'm gonna talk about things that were released. Uh, low key, a lot of these things I didn't anticipate. And this time we're only talking about five releases. So these items, I would say, maybe two of them I was anticipating, but the other three, they just became some low key favorites. And then at the end, I wanna talk about two releases that I think 
would have been on this list if I didn't just purchase them. I hope that sounds good and I hope it makes sense. Let's get started with release number one. Now these are in no particular order. The first release is gonna go to House Labs. House Labs is Lady Gaga's brand and it went through a rebrand. And I think that rebrand had to do with them being clean and clean at Sephora. So the, the standout were these color fuse blushes and I got four of them. They are so beautiful, so pigmented, and just the way they look, you can use tiny brushes, you can use the biggest brush you have, and the payoff was just so beautiful. These were one of my favorite blushes that I bought this year, and it's funny, and spoiler, three of the five top releases are blushes. I love blush. This one is Hibiscus Haze. So this one is definitely your, your safe bet. I pulled out my baby right here and I must have dropped her. Pomelo Peach. I don't know what happened to this baby. Look at my mirror. I don't know what happened. Out of all four blushes that I have, Pomelo Peach is definitely my favorite one. I don't know if I had this in a bag somewhere. I have no idea. Luckily, I still have the protective coating on here so I'm just gonna leave that one here but ooh, pomelo peach so good mm. now you know we had the pink blush trend so this one right here dragon fruit days this went right with that doll pink trend that we had earlier this year we had the Dior rosy glow blush in those editions those are good blushes too but Mm, they did not get used as much as my house labs or some of the other ones that we're going to talk about and we also have watermelon bliss oh. now there were two others there was a i think acai berry and then she came out with a new shade which was limited edition called lavender something i don't know why i think it was called lavender blonde but i can't remember it was very beautiful what i loved about these blushes was the finish there's like a slight sheen. You could build these up depending on what kind of brush you use. You can diffuse them out. I also love the amount of pigment. So these blushes were working for all different skin tones. And I love that because as we know, we still get a lot of makeup that leaves people out, but not these blushes. They were not leaving anybody out. I believe these were released in the earlier part of 2023 but when i sat down and just say kara think about like five things that you loved this year this was making the cut so house labs color fuse blush number one release number two i hadn't even tried this brand before it came out of absolutely nowhere and i was just like oh i want to try this and that's all she wrote these are the Iconic London Kiss by the Sun Multi-Use Cheek Glows. Sephora had three shades, I got all three. I think the Iconic London website had like five. L let, me, let me show you what I'm talking about when I say best release. First of all, this is broken. That's number one. Number two, look at that. Look at that pan. This one is so cheeky. That's it right there and I love it. It is like a blush highlighter, kind of like the bronzers that Clinique came out with. Was it Clinique? Somebody came out with bronzers. But you could even put this on the eye. I wouldn't because of the formula, because it's really creamy. It's very putty-like, and I think it would crease on my eyes. But look at that. So beautiful. That's so cheeky. Oh, honey. This one... I'll put this on and won't even wear a bronzer. I literally wear these all the time. And sometimes I will use a little bit to put over my blush. That's oh honey. And then we have Playtime, which is this cool pink. This is the one I've used the least. So I've been pulling this one out. They had these really cute like lines, but that was gone as soon as you swatched it. I love this. This one is almost, it's almost duochromey it has like a little golden kind of shift to it or undertone maybe 
these are really good y'all and i'm telling you this is so cheeky i'm gonna have to get me a new one because i'm gonna use this up hitting pan on this wasn't super difficult just because of the putty like nature but this is legit pan i mean it's not like oh just a little bit but i remember when i first hit pan i was able to kind of move some of it over but now i have used enough i can't move it over and cover up and pretend i didn't hit pan so oh my gosh i was so thrilled by these even during black friday i went on their site and saw i think they had a little sale and i was like no carrie you still have two that you're working on but i definitely want to acquire the shades that were not on sephora's site these also really work great if you're not wearing makeup so they look nice over foundation but they also look nice on bare skin i would say the house labs would not look as great on bare skin maybe the hibiscus haze but the rest of the house lab colors are just so bold i don't think they have that dewy finish i would have to try them on bare skin but i these wouldn't be ones that i would go for lately i haven't even been wearing foundation so you know you want to have a little glow something like this so cheeky looks really nice if you want to have just a little glow a shade like so cheeky is going to look really great over top of just your moisturizer overall these have really become staple products in my collection i am really glad that i took a chance and tried these out the third item is also a blush y'all and I could not do a top makeup releases video without talking about my RMS Beauty blushes. Oh my goodness. These look good on everyone. They look good for every age group. And I'm in love with these. I have four shades. I have Mai Tai, Bohemian Girl. This is the one I got for like five bucks. This one though, this is the one right here. I, I think I wore this one more than the other shades. This is Maiden's Blush. And it's a very unique blush in my collection overall. And lastly, we have Sangria. I have not one bad thing to say about the RMS Beauty blushes. Again, they are a product that's gonna give you a nice glow and they don't accentuate texture. I really don't have textured skin, but I have watched reviews from other content creators that do and they do not accentuate any texture. So for anyone that's afraid to wear a shimmering blush because they have textured skin, you don't have to worry about that with these blushes. And I think that's really exciting because oftentimes that's why people don't wanna wear things with shimmer. Same with on the eyes, if you have textured lids, textured skin, oftentimes the shimmer will accentuate it. I love these blushes and these iconic London blushes as well because it's a subtle glow. It's not glittery. You don't see any particles. It is very smooth and I love that about these blushes. These blushes just give me more of a natural feel. These House Labs blushes though, when I want something bold, you cannot beat these and although the house lab blushes are very bold you don't have to use them that way you can use a very very fluffy brush and just slightly tap in and you're going to get some pigment so these three blush releases were just favorites overall this year for me again you know eyeshadows separate video Release number four was something I tried randomly as well. But number four goes to the Hourglass Unlocked Lipsticks. I went from having two to having four. Hands down, one of my favorite lipstick shades, period, is this one. It is called Larch. Look how much I've used. I have used so much of it. And when you get that hook, that's when you know I really used it because I get the hook because I have like a duckbill uh, lip. Doesn't matter what I do, I always get the hook. Larch is my favorite, and I also purchased Dove when I purchased Larch. So let's do a little swatch here, let's see. So that's Dove, and let me swatch Larch. And then when I went to Vegas earlier this month, I got two more because we had that one time 20% off. So I got some other shades that were on my wish list. So we have Sahara, and lastly, Shore. Shore is just an everyday lipstick. 
I'm really excited about these. They are very comfortable to wear. They are moisturizing, they are hydrating. And it's crazy because when I bought the first two shades and was wearing large, that's when I bought that K Skin lip sunscreen that tore my lips up. And I wasn't sure if it was the K Skin product or the Hourglass, but I'm so glad it was not the Hourglass because I was really worried for a minute. It was definitely that K Skin. The only thing that's annoying about these is that you have to close them correctly because if you don't, if you just put the bullet in like that, it's not gonna close. So you have to close them correctly. And I don't always do it the first time, but that's okay because I love these lipsticks. I only watched one review and that was from Kinky Sweat, Alicia Archer, but I don't know, I love them. And look how they have the little H on the back with the bunny. I love that. See it there, so cute, love it. And that leaves us with just one more release, y'all. It's a fragrance. Now I was anticipating this. I anticipated this release and maybe the House Lab blushes pistachio gelato this just came at a time where i had gone down the fragrance rabbit hole and these notes that are on the back pistachio gelato hazelnut sweet rum whipped cream marshmallow and cotton candy this was not the nutty pistachio smell that i had heard about this was actually the first pistachio perfume that I have been able to smell. And since then, I have gotten some samples where I'm like, oh, okay, this is what some people were looking for. I know some people were surprised in a good way and some people were kind of like, mm, it still smells good, but it's not giving me that pistachio vibe. Whatever vibe it is though, it is yum. It is fresh in a way and I like wearing it all year round. But if I had to choose, I would definitely say this is a summer scent. I like this one because I can smell it all day. To me, it's really distinct. It's not overpowering. It's not something that I think is offensive. It's just very sweet and clean while also being gourmand. I have nothing else in my collection that smells like this. And to me, what I love about this is not one of those fragrances where it's like, you smell it at first and then you have to wait for it to dry down to see how you're gonna feel about it. The opening, it just smells good. The dry down, it smells great. I don't get this whole change that happens. You know, with some fragrances, you really, in the dry down, get some different notes or some other things move to the front, as people would say, and all this kind of stuff, no. To me, this is a, what you smell is what you get fragrance. This is so good. That's all I can say. And I definitely got this in the big bottle because I used up the travel version of it very quickly. So when I think about my top releases, this definitely was gonna make the cut. Yes, so good. All right, now I have to have a couple of honorable mentions because towards the end of this year, especially around Black Friday time, I tried some things that if I had tried them sooner in the year, they would have made this list. So I wanna talk about three things. This first item is a lip product and it was released in 2022, but I started using them really heavy in 2023 and I also added some shades to my collection. And I have got to mention the Maybelline Vinyl Stay lip inks these are like my favorite thing what i love about these is that because i feel like as i age my lips are just so pale even if i don't necessarily want to just wear the vinyl inks it gives my lips some nice pigment and then i may put something over top of them but i like wearing them alone as well my favorite shade is awestruck yes this one right here and i just found this so i'm really happy to have it in this video I love that. But the other shade that I wear pretty often is the shade Peachy and Punchy. I don't know, Punchy's across the room. There's Peachy. I love these because they don't transfer, but they're not matte. You still have that vinyl look. With that being said, it does have a sticky dry down, and I know that everybody doesn't like that but I really don't mind. If I'm not in the mood for that, I may put a little bit of 
like my Dior uh, lip shine just a little bit or one of my Pat McGrath bombs just to get rid of the stickiness. The dry down on these is so good because it's so unique to have a dry down and still have some shine. I don't see that from a lot of lip products. Uh, this is actually the only product that I've seen that from. And I did add to my collection this year in 2023. I had to give them an honorable mention because I do wear them all the time, all the time. There's always one on me somewhere. It could be in my book bag, in my purse. I usually have one of these with me at all times. The next honorable mention has to go to Donessa Myricks. This is the Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. Just got this a few weeks ago, but I wore it and I was with Ash in Vegas and she was like, are you wearing the Donessa Myricks that you just bought? I'm like, yeah. She's like, that looks so good. And then she ended up buying it. This is the number one foundation I've tried this year because before that it was the Hourglass ambient foundation and I have been loving that all year but I purchased that in 2022 and I talked about it in my 2022 best releases video so this was my new foundation for the year I don't think I bought any new foundation I don't think so this is so good and it gives your skin first of all I love the serum feeling it reminds me of a skincare product I think I found a really good match for my skin and then the radiance that it leaves. Yes, it goes well under all of my makeup. I think that if you don't like radiant skin, I'm not sure if you would really like it, but to me, it gives my skin like some juiciness, you know, and you can always tone it down with your powder. It's not too thick. It just blends in so well to me. It just, meshes with whatever you're going to do next. I love this stuff. This is really good. Well, let me find out I'm about to be a Danessa fan because that light work. Okay. Product number three, I was interested in it when it came out, but I just never got them because I was into my my Victoria Beckham's because Victoria Beckham eyeliner is really expensive. So I'm going to use them all the time as much as I can. I really wasn't letting anything compete with them, but these bad boys went on sale for $5 and I was like, I'm getting them all. So these are the melt slick waterline eye pencils. And when I tell you they're giving my, my Vicky B's a run for the money, for less money. One swipe goes right into your eye, no problem. Stays in the waterline. I was really excited to get Olive. This is the one right here. I haven't even used it yet. These are very creamy. I'm not even using any pressure. Can you see it right there? So I got all the colors. The one that I have been wearing all the time is this one, which is Rich Brown. It's crazy because I was watching a little tutorial with Laura Oriano, who is one of the owners of Melt, and she was using these pencils as like concealer and to highlight areas of her face. And I was like, how, how can you do that? That's how creamy and soft they are. I think that's wild. They blend out so well, but for how soft they are, it's amazing how they stay in the waterline. Like they are slick pencils. They are slick and you just have to go across one time. I think that is amazing. Probably a really underrated release. And you know, I think that sometimes people aren't really even giving Melt a chance like that, but Melt has like other good products, but it's like kind of hit or miss. And I think these pencils were 19 bucks. So to me, that's still pricey for an eyeliner. Now Victoria Beckham is really high, but $19 is still a lot, but $5, the price was right. And I was glad I tried them. I would highly recommend that if Melt has another sale or when they have another sale, Try out these slick waterline pencils. I do not think you would regret these at all. Now the last thing, this is another one. I was like, nope, not in the market for concealer. No thanks. I got my uh, Dior Forever Skin Correct and there is nothing that can top that. And I felt like that up until a couple weeks ago. And I think my girl has topped Dior. Tasha. 
this the high gen is that what this is called high gen or high glam <laughs> color corrector and concealer and i just found out the other day that this is a self-setting concealer and it is like i don't have any powder on and she talked about in a reel how if you're having increasing she was just saying you know you put it on you let it sit you know after you do your initial blend and then you just go over it one time with your fingers i've been putting this concealer on with my fingers a lot lately i will do like three dots of the color corrector and then the concealer what i like about this concealer also is the undertones so i am really glad that i did not purchase this online it would have been really hard for me to find my undertone you can't just go by the numbers it doesn't work like that you have to go by the undertone and the way that the end cap was in the sephora that's how the concealers were grouped also i think they run a bit light so this color corrector is tan whereas normally i would take a medium one but the medium one was super light this one gives me the orange undertone that i need to color correct the concealer i have is rp6 so this is a rosy undertone concealer which i love because i've been using pink powder so i really love the rosy undertone and i have been looking at myself and really looking at my undertones and i do say that i'm neutral but i do have like some rosiness in my cheeks and everything like that so i love this undertone and it's different because my dior is a four in and it's neutral but this kind of rosiness that this shade has is really doing it for me i love the coverage of this i love how you can easily just blend this in with your fingers I love that I don't have to use a powder. So when I do have the days where I don't really want to wear makeup and then I just put a little bit of this on, sometimes I could honestly just use the color corrector and that's it. I don't even need the concealer, but if I want just a little more brightness, a little more coverage, the concealer is perfect for that i have been using this instead of foundation here under the eye right here where i have a little blemish and just a little bit like on my nose if i want to cover up my freckles that's it this has been perfect for it and i love how it just melts into your skin it is really nice i'm thinking this is so nice with the hygiene primer I love that stuff. I had two bottles of that and I am going to repurchase that. That is my favorite primer, but right now I'm using a, another one. So NRN, I think these concealers would just be so beautiful on top of that. And maybe she'll come out with a foundation in 2024. And if it's anything like this concealer, I'm, I'm going to try it. I wanted to speak on those honorable mentions because I don't think it's fair to say it's the best release when I've only tried them for a couple of weeks, but there was a lot that I tried at the end of the year. So I have to mention those products and that is going to be it for this video. Oh my gosh. And it's going to be it for Frismas y'all. Another year of Frismas in the books. I just want to thank you all for being here with me. I did a lot of premieres. I did almost all premieres and I, I just really love taking the time to chat with you all. And sometimes like, I know we're not even watching the video. We just went here chatting with our friends and you know, some people are like, I'll go back and watch later. I love that. I love this community and it's just been so supportive and so fun. It's been uplifting. You all have become a huge part of my life i really enjoy this and frismas is truly a labor of love because it is really tough to have a video up every single day and oftentimes i was recording the video in the morning trying to edit during my 30 minute which tends to be 15 minutes uh, when you really get down to it lunch break or like right when I come home, leave a work and I have been hustling to get the videos up. It's kind of stressful, fun stress. And then sometimes it's not fun stress. Like if the boys had karate or if I have a meeting after work, but it has been a labor of love. And I look forward to doing this 
every year. I had a lot of ideas for Frismas that I just didn't get to because there were a lot of uh, new makeup things to try. But, you know, eventually we'll, we'll get to it all because there'll be another Frismas. I didn't get a chance to have August do my makeup like he wanted to. And there were some other things I wanted to do, but I'll just leave it on my notes for next year. I just, I really just enjoyed this. I enjoy you all. And I just thank you for being here for, for these videos. Thank you for being vulnerable with me because a lot of you all have shared things that again, have taken this community way beyond loving makeup. And I appreciate you all for that. I think all of us connect on so many different levels and it's nice to, to know that even if you haven't met someone in person that they can be important to you and that the relationships are real. So thank you guys. Please don't forget to check out Dr. Ash and her makeup after this. Her video is gonna be linked in the description box. And with that being said, have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another Frismas and another Mimosas and Makeup. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself I don't know why I can't get through this. I got like two more things to say. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all really, really soon. Bye.